Hello, what's up YouTube, Ronix with it and Atrio and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to remove stains from fabric in Photoshop. So the very same technique can be used for removing sweat from fabric because there are those instances whereby you have taken a nice image and you have uh, those sweat stains on the fabric or on the clothing of the subjects you may have taken. So this story is for you guys and we are going to be using a technique known as frequency separation to remove this stain from uh, this very image and this image was from Pixin Perfect you can see right here so the very first thing I'm going to do I'm going to be using a frequency separation action and for those interested in how to create your own actions for frequency separation or uh, for this very technique of removing stains you can check right above here on how you can create your custom made frequency separation actions to speed up uh, this process in Photoshop so the link is going to be right above here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come uh, right in my actions and I'm going to just come and first of all notice that this is an 8-bit image right here. Or, you, or to know the bit size of your image, you can simply come to image mode and you can see 8-bit channel is checked right here. So I'm just going to come actions and I'm going to play my FS 8-bit action. So just play it. So when it comes to this point, I'm going to move this all the way to zero. So when it comes to this point, always make sure that you blur out the textures from the image. So I'm just going to use this as a reference for the beards. I'm just going to start moving this radius up to a point when I'm losing out on the textures in this particular image. So I'm just going to move this radius up to that particular point. So just move it up to a point when you are no longer looking or seeing the textures in this image. So I'm just going to go with the radius of 10. And in 10, you have lost out on the details. Remember, the stains is part of the color in this image. So that's why I blurred out the, text, the textures from the image. And I only want to remain with the colors in this particular case. So simply hit OK. And the action is going to continue playing. So when it is done playing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to deactivate my black and red because I usually use this for skin retouching so I don't need it for this case. Oh, let me just select it and delete it. So in my frequency separation, I usually have a layer inside uh, my frequency separation. So what I usually do, this layer is majorly for correcting and fixing colors. And if at all you don't have it among, among your actions, simply select the low frequency layer and come and click on this new layer icon to create that layer. So we're just going to name that uh, maybe stain stain removal, just like that. So what we want to do, we are going first of all, when this layer is selected, we are just going to come to the eyedropper tool and make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 average. So just come and select it. And after it has been selected, simply come to or under the brushes and get your soft round brush opacity is 100 percent and make sure the flow is uh, at around 30 percent so smoothing at zero and make sure that this layer right here is selected so as it is selected you're going to notice that uh, you're going to notice that we're just going to start sampling and painting that's why you first of all had to select this eyedropper tool so in order to sample you're going to now hold down the alternate button on the keyboard or the alt key on the keyboard so alternate you click to sample from an area close to where that stain is and start painting just like that so we're just going to do this uh, for the overall stain of this particular uh, case so we're just going to sample and just paint uh, to try to eliminate this stain from uh, the model shirt so just do that and when we are done doing this, we are going to be fixing so many things. So don't mind, this is not all for the tutorial because you can notice that we still have that outline of the stain in this particular case. So just so how we are doing it, just holding down the alternate key to sample from a clean area of the shirt and just simply painting over uh, that stain to uh, eliminate or reduce on the amount of color that is embedded in that particular area of the stain. So we're just going to do that. And 
as you are doing this you can notice that the area is turning out to look white so you have to take your time while doing this to try to get those nice and perfect results for this particular uh, tutorial or case so I think that is overdone command Z to undo just going so you have to sample from an area just close to the stain where you want to or the area you want to eliminate in the stain so I'm just going to reduce on the size and come to the shadow area and just sample right there and just come and paint so when I'm done doing all this I'm just going to come and perfect this because I want the best out of uh, this very image so just do that and after you have uh, selected and you feel like you're really okay with the results but I feel like it is not yet there so I'm just going to continue holding down the alternate and painting over at uh, this stain to reduce on its intensity in this particular image so just do that because this shirt is white and we don't want to remain with any colors in this particular case so just do that and i think it is really doing a pretty nice job so you can even come to this side and uh, do the same i'm just going to zoom in and now come to this part of the glass and also continue sampling and painting just like that so just take your time and you'll have the best out of your stain removal process or technique so just do that and you have to take your time and not rush through the process for the removal of the stain in this particular case so just do that and you're almost going to be good to go because after this very tutorial you're going to be noticing that uh, we have really done a really nice and drastic change to uh, editing this particular image so i think so i'm basically holding down the alternate key and clicking to sample and just painting or left clicking to uh, eliminate that particular color or stain on the white shirt of this gentleman right here so i think uh, we have done a pretty nice job so what is left you can see that we have been able to eliminate uh, the stain in this particular case but it is really looking really uh, rough and it has those artifacts or edges so what we would love to do is just clean up a little bit more so like i said always take your time while trying to clean up these uh, blame, uh rather stains so just check on what you have done and if at all you feel like you have done a mistake you can come and get your eraser tool and increase on the size and you can come and first of all erase from that area just like that if at all you have done a mistake and you can come back to the brush and redo the sampling just like that so I'm just wanting to show you guys how uh, this is done. I know we may not be having uh, all the time in the world, but I want to show you guys uh, the best we can go with removing this stain from this gentleman's shirt. So I think that is it. So after we have done that, you can notice that this out ugly outline right here, I hope you can see it. It is really ugly. So what we have to do, we're just going to get uh, the clone stamp tool and come to the layer that is contained the textures. Remember this outline is part of the textures in the gentleman shirt. So come and get the clone stamp tool, opacity and the flow at 100%, align the selected and this time around change the sampling to the current layer. Since we, uh, we're only dealing with the high frequency layer and when we're done doing that, come and start sampling. So you sample from an area close to that outline and simply come and paint over that line. So just come in. So how we are sampling, we're just holding down the alternate on the keyboard. So alternate, you, you sample and now copy and paste uh, that on 
a clean outline and to get rid of that outline from that particular area in this case so just do that and as you can see we are now getting there and uh, this ugly stain is now getting uh, we are just getting rid of that ugly stain which was distracting this gentleman in shirt so let's just do that and after we have done that you're going to notice that uh, we are going to be having a nice image at the end of uh, this particular process so let's just zoom in command plus and zoom in and we clean up this other area right here so alternate you click on this area close to that outline and click and move up to apply that effect or to get rid of that line right there so you can see how uh, we are doing a beautiful job uh, towards the removal of this ugly stain outline and just come and sample and remove that so you can see how we are just eliminating that stain outline from uh, the image so i think that is fine and nice so let's see what we have done for this stain removal tutorial so this is the before and after before after before after so that is how to remove stains from fabric in just photoshop using frequency separation and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another tutorial and don't forget to Keep practicing and keep creating.